Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, so for those of you that are new, you may not know, I primarily channel. So a lot of times I get messages through dreams, I might get visuals, uh, synchronicities, like I, you know, channeling comes in so many different forms. But I was actually just listening to music and I was listening to the song, um, let's see what it was, The Calling wherever you will go so some of you guys probably know that song it's an alternative rock song i think it was like the 90s or early 2000s it's way up high or down low wherever you know i'll go wherever you will go and i was getting this message like i felt this energy coming through and that's part of cha how channeling works you know you can get messages through so many different sources um, and you don't want to go looking for it necessarily. It's like, it'll, it'll come to you. It's not like I wasn't looking for a message or anything. I was just listening to music. And then, you know, I've listened to this song, like, you know, several times before. And, but this time it's like, I felt a spirit guide coming through the song. Like I felt like there was, there was a message. That's one way that our spirit guides talk to us is through message, through, uh, through movies, through music, through songs, uh, like you might hear a random song come on the radio and that's a message from your spirit guides or someone you're telepathically connecting with. But anyway, I was I was listening to this song and I just started channeling like there was a spirit guide that started coming through really strongly through this song. And so I want to do a reading on that because I definitely was picking up a, a collective energy here. It's for a few specific few people on this channel. So one of the lyrics that was really standing out to me, the, the energy that was really just coming through was, so lately I've been wondering who will be there to take my place. When I'm gone, you'll need love to light the shadows on your face. So I feel like this is either an ancestor or a spirit guide that maybe you feel, um, you feel kind of alone and neglected right now, like you don't know where they went. This could be a god or goddess that you work with and maybe you're you're not feeling their energy as much and you're not sure where they went for someone i'm actually getting that this is a father that passed on i think within the last year and you guys were very close like i, I feel like you were definitely like a, a daddy's girl or a daddy's boy for sure um so take it as it resonates you know if you're in this energy group for some of you this is a deity for some it's an ancestor um, you know, a spirit guide, it could be a, a loved one that passed on like a, an older relative or a friend. And I feel like for this energy group, I feel like you, you're intuitive yourself. So I feel like you've been aware of this energy because I almost get the sense for this, this group that I'm channeling. It's almost like you kind of felt abandoned by this person. Like you felt like, um, like this spirit guide, this spirit that I'm channeling, it, it's, it's almost like there's this sense that you felt like it just kind of left you. So I'm guessing that you are, you know, you do have a lot of intuitive sense because you're able to pick up on that. You're able to pick up on, you know, the the presence of this spirit guide or the presence of this ancestor or crossed over loved one. But let's get into it. So, so let's see. There is another lyric. I have the lyrics up too. Cause there was another lyric, there's another lyrics that like when I was listening to it, that just, there's like this spirit guy that just came, came really, came through really strongly through this song. Um, and maybe I'll find out a way back, a way to make it back someday to watch you, to guide you through the darkest of your days. That was another one of the lyrics that was really standing out. I feel like this spirit guide had somewhere that they had to go. Um, and I feel like you felt abandoned and I feel like this spirit guide is coming back. So this could have been like, let's say this was like a father or a mother or a sibling that passed on. And after their death, it's like you really felt their energy. You felt like they were still around you. You felt this sense of like love and peace and support. Like you could just kind of get this intuitive sense that their energy was still around. And then they, they left, they went somewhere. And now I feel like their energy is starting to come back in. Or if it's like a deity that you work with, like if you have like an altar or something, you might have felt like the altar was just kind of empty. Like it's, it's like the energy kind of left, but now it's coming back. And I, I feel like this, this spirit that I'm channeling, it feels, um, again, it's going to be different for everybody. For some, it's a deity. For some, it's an ancestor or, you know, a crossed on loved one. 
But the overall energy I'm getting for this group is like you felt abandoned. You felt like it just left you out of nowhere. And we're going to look into that because there's something about like a like a misunderstanding there. It didn't. Um, you might have felt rejected. You might have felt like this spirit just moved on from you. Like, you know, if, if it was like your father that passed on and he was around you for, you know, a few months or so. And then his energy like moved elsewhere. It's like you felt like you didn't understand where um, where the spirit went. And there's there's something to that that this uh, for this group that these spirits wanted me to look into. So let's see what's going on here. But yeah, listen to that song. That song will probably resonate. It is the uh, the calling wherever you uh, wherever you will go. Okay, six of cups, eight of wands. Seven of Pentacles, the Moon, Ten of Swords. Hmm, interesting energy. I love like I love music and like movies, TV shows. So sometimes when I'm channeling, it's like I'll get like little clips of like movies or like little like scenes or whatnot while like come to me. And I'm I'm getting for somebody I'm getting um I don't know if any of you have watched Buffy, but in the musical episode of Buffy, um, her and Giles, there's like this whole musical number that that they do. Um, and Giles says like I wish I could stay here and, and play the father and take you by the hand, but now I understand I'm just standing in the way. And that's coming out for some for someone here. I feel like this spirit guide was um, they love you unconditionally. Like they didn't. Some of you felt like they left because they moved on, and I'm not getting that sense at all. I feel like the spirit really does love you. The spirit is very. You have a very strong past life connection with this spirit. So this whoever the spirit is to you, they they never moved on from you. It wasn't like that. Um, I feel like for someone here though. They felt like they were blocking you from your spiritual path, almost like you were com becoming very reliant on them. I feel like they might might have also been a little bit worried, too, about other false spirits coming through and pretending to be them. Because, And I'm getting that, especially if, if it was like a father or someone that passed away, because I get a lot of pain. I get someone that was like really... Um, you know, like you had a very close relationship with this person and they passed away and it's like you were not really able to move on from it. And so... It brought you a lot of comfort, you know, after their death to really to feel their energy around you, to feel that support from them. But I think that there was a lot going on behind the scenes that you didn't see. Um, and I, f I just get the sense that the spirit guide started worrying you about you at a certain point. Like at first, the spirit guide felt like. And I'm going to get into the other in part of this energy because there's a couple of different stories here. So for those of you that this is a past on loved one, this is the storyline. And, and for others, I'm going to channel that in just a minute here. But anyway, I, I get the sense that you might have been becoming disconnected from reality or disconnected from the physical world. And I feel like this spirit was kind of worried about that. Like you weren't really... Um, you might not have been forming like physical relationships. It's kind of like, I, I hate to say it like this, and I'm sorry to say it, but it's it's almost like kind of using them as a crutch in a way. Um, that's just what's coming through. And it, it's, and they, and again, they love you unconditionally and they, they never really left. They just, they pulled back a little bit because the, the path that you guys were going down, it wasn't really safe for you. Like you were disconnecting from the physical world. You were disconnecting from reality. You might have been disconnecting from like friends, family, or from meeting new people. It's like you were just kind of like in hermit mode. You know what I mean? Like you were, you just wanted this relationship back. You know, this person that passed away, it's like you you didn't want anybody else but them. Um, you just miss them. And so it's, it's kind of like you were connecting with spirits, but you, you kind of stopped connecting with like physical people. So your energy became very imbalanced is what I'm feeling. And even though it was a comfort for you at first to have this spirit guide there, at a certain point, it's like this spirit was kind of just like worried about you because of, you know, the isolation. And the second thing that I, I feel um, another big reason why they were worried is because I feel like you were 
you were becoming so in tune with the spirit world, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like you weren't protecting yourself and you were so emotional that you weren't really um, vetting these spirits that were coming through. Because I'm, I'm getting that for some, there might have been like a dark spirit that was trying to come through and pretend to be your father or pretend to be your past on loved one. And, um, and that's not for everybody. Like only take this message if it resonates, you know what I mean? Only you'll know if this is for you, but I feel, and I feel like the majority of the time it was actually your real father or it was your real mother or sibling or whoever this was that passed away. But I feel like part of the time, I like, I think it's more towards the end. Like, I don't think it was at first, but I think as you started diving deeper into the spiritual world and you were you know, more emotional and you were more isolated. You didn't really have anybody to help you sort through this. You might not have had a mentor to help you with this. Um, you maybe weren't using protection. Like you weren't really, um, like you were kind of diving into the spiritual world, but like you weren't grounding yourself. You were, you were kind of just wanting to be out of this world. Like you were kind of just wanting to be done. You know what I mean? That's, that's the vibe I get is, is you kind of lost interest in the physical world around you. So there was no grounding, there was no protection. Um, and so I think towards the end, um, you know, while the spirit was coming through, I think there was a darker spirit that came through and started pretending to be them. So so part of, you know, towards the end, part of the time, it really was your father or your sibling or whoever this was to you. And the other part of the time, it was this darker spirit that was just, you know, pretending to be them to try to get through. And I feel like that's when this uh, spirit guide of yours left because they were worried about you. They didn't want to allow those spirits to mess with you. For some of you, this could be like you, you're looking for like a, this could be like a soul father or soul mother. Cause I do get a very strong past life connection. Like you, this spirit loves you. There's no doubt about this. The spirit loves you unconditionally. You did nothing wrong. They did not leave because of you. They only left to protect you. But for some, it might be like, you could have like a soul mother or a soul father or someone that was like channeling through different people, like coming through different people. But these darker spirits that wanted to come on to you started using that to their advantage too. They kind of started using, it's almost like a sense of like desperation or pain. It's like you were really longing for this connection. You were really longing. And for some, you might not have even met this person this lifetime. It could have just been like a, like you had the, you, like you were telepathically picking up on this past life connection, even if you hadn't met them this lifetime. And so I feel like other spirits were like coming through and like, you know, darker spirits, like coming through and channeling through these people and like kind of using it to their advantage. And so it just, it, it, it got, it got confusing. It got tricky towards the end. So this spirit just kind of pulled back their energy to protect you from all of that. Because I feel like if this spirit guide like pulls back, then it's like these these energies can't like any dark forces can't really like mimic their energy as much because they're not because it's like you're not channeling them anymore. You know what I mean? Like you're not. Um, I feel like it's like the desperation energy and I, I get that 100 percent. So like I'm not you know, if I if I use if I say things like that, don't think that I'm judging like I understand that. But it was almost like because you were seeking them so much. And you were in such an emotional state that you weren't able to balance. And I think that was the issue is, is just how much you were desperate for it, how much you were seeking it. Um, because it's like this spirit guide, you know, like, like I said, at first, it's like their presence kind of comforted you the first, you know, two or three months or however long it was. But I feel like you got more and more attached to that where it wasn't it wasn't one of those things like. I think they kind of hoped that they could come in and comfort you and be a support system, but like push you to still live your life and pursue your goals. I'm hearing pursue music for somebody like you wanted to do something with music and the spirit guide wants you to, to get back on track with like art or music or something creative that you do. Um, I'm getting someone that has like a very creative mind and they want you to get back on track with like, it's like singing or songwriting or something like that. Um, I'm seeing a guitar for somebody too. But anyway, um, yeah, I think they kind of hoped that like after their death, they could come through and they could like push you towards, you know, meeting new people, meeting positive people towards going out towards pursuing your goals. It's like they tried to push you towards these things, but you, 
you weren't really interested in all that. I think you were very sad. And so you were more just as soon as you felt their energy, it's like you kind of just clung on to that and you just held on to that energy. So they weren't able to be a positive force in your life because their presence kind of made it so that you were just sort of living in the past and you weren't um, pursuing your dreams. Like you were kind of very stagnant during that time. Like you weren't really moving forward. Does that make sense? So so and I, th I think that's also the thing like towards the end I feel like you got kind of addicted to that energy like to not being you know willing to let them go um and, and you never really have to let them go like you're not they're not gone you know what I mean like you have a you have, you've had several past lives with this person uh, you know chances are they're going to be in your next life like you won't you know they're they're not they're not gone they're not you know what I mean like it's it's just temporary it's a temporary absence that's something that they really want you to know but um but yeah towards the end i think with that desperation it's like you started reaching out to them more and more and and becoming more disconnected from the physical world and i think that's when those spirits were able to come in because it's like because you were seeking it you were so emotional and you were seeking it so much that um do you understand that energy difference it wasn't like the spirit was able to come like like your father or sibling or whoever was able to come in and you were still living your life and you were grounded and and protecting yourself and you know had your boundaries up it, it's like you you got more and more attached to this um this energy and and so it's like you started pulling on it like you started it, it's like they had to be around all the time or if they were gone it's like you would like cry out for them you would pull them back in and there's sometimes when you know your father or your you know brother sister whoever this was to you might have been doing something else or they might have been somewhere else and another darker spirit would hear that cry they would hear that call you know, because you became more and more addicted to that energy and needing them around more and more like they were your only source of support and comfort um, at a certain point. So so so, yeah, it's like that, you know, crying out for them like that. It's like and there's nothing wrong with that. It makes sense. But but, you know, with that energy, it's like sometimes when they weren't around, these dark spirits would come in. So they left to protect you is basically just what they want you to know. I'm going to look more into it here, though, and see if there's any more messages. I feel like they're coming. I feel like they're starting to test the waters and come back around. They really do miss you. Um, they, they probably are not going to qu come back around quite as strong as they did before just because they want to make sure that pattern doesn't repeat. They want to make sure that they're a good influence on your life. They want to make sure they... They want you to have physical world relationships. That's one of the big things I'm getting is like you stop talking to people. You stopped, you know, like you were kind of just like living in the past. Like you weren't and you weren't wanting to meet anybody else. So I think that's another thing. And if this is like um, like a husband or wife or someone that passed on, I think they want you to know like they actually do want you to like move on and um, and like meet other people and like be happy. They're not going to be jealous. You're not betraying them. And it's not like, cause they see it differently. You know what I mean? Like to us, it, to you, it, it feel probably feels so final. It feels like it's over forever, but to them, it's like, it, it's kind of like going on vacation and coming back. It's like a blink of an eye. You know what I mean? It's, it's, they see it differently where, you know, you, like I said, you've had so many past lives with this person and they'll be in your future lives as well that yeah they do miss you they are sad about the separation but they they understand that the separation is is temporary that's they're not really gone you know what i mean like they have a different perspective perception on it because they're you know they're in spirit form they they see they see everything they're in that higher perspective so this person wants to support you but they want you to they definitely there's something about being social they really want you to meet good people they don't want you to allow um toxic people into your life either they don't want you to you know don't don't go for people that are uh i'm hearing like doing like a disservice to their memory like people that are just I, like i'm hearing someone say like you deserve a lot better than that like you don't deserve because someone's like i feel like somebody here like if this was like a husband or wife i feel like somebody's like I don't know if it's like one night stands, but it's like somebody has really lowered their standards because they're so depressed and they don't want to be alone. And and your person loves you unconditionally. Like this is like this this person loves you so much. Like this person that I'm channeling that's that's crossed over. Like they love you so much. They really do. Um 
and I just feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody here, it's, it's like you're, you're, you're settling for a lot less. You don't want to be alone. So you're, you're dating people that you normally wouldn't date and they don't, or they might be like a toxic friend, but there's someone for someone here, there's someone around you that they're kind of worried about. Like they want to protect you from that person. They don't, they don't like that person's energy. Um, I'm just feeling this. It's, it's a really interesting energy I'm getting. Huh. Wow, okay. So they want to be there for you, but they want to be there for you in a way where they don't they, they don't want to be an excuse for you not to go out and live your life. They they want you to go live your life. They want you they don't want you to let life pass you by. That's what they're really worried about. They don't want you to let life pass you by. They want you to go out there and live, meet people, travel, have fun live your life don't stay stuck in the past they want you to change your perception on this and understand that this ending even if it felt final it's it's not final it's it's a very it's a temporary ending there's there's just a temporary separation between you two it's like what is that quote from the princess bride like um death cannot stop true love all it can do is delay it for a while I feel like my spirit guides are coming through strong with like the movie scenes and like the the music today like you know they really came through strong strong with that song the calling wherever you will go that like that you might feel their energy through that song because like i said i've listened to that song so many times and i've never i mean it's a great song but i've never felt anything from it but today when i listened to it it was like immediate there was like these spirits that were like coming through that song and i'm like oh okay this is this is a message i need to put on my channel um Let's see what else they want you to know. Yeah, they definitely want you to be around good people. They don't want you settling for toxic people. They want you to manifest like better people, like good people, positive people, support. I feel like they might even have some people in mind for you that they want to uh, to bring to you, but you have to kind of um, put yourself out there a bit more and... Um, I'm seeing bungee jumping. <laughs> I don't know. Did one of you like go bungee jumping with your with your person or something? Or did you guys talk about like going bungee jumping? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a metaphor. <laughs> um, anyway, that's how channeling works. Like there's, you know, there's these random like messages that come through sometimes. And if you guys are following me, like if this is resonating, please subscribe because I do these readings regularly. And, you know, comments, it really helps me because I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm. So I really appreciate you guys liking the video, commenting on the video, even just leaving a heart comment. It really helps me. Um, and it helps me connect with your energy too, because sometimes I do have dreams that end up being messages for people on this channel. So I'll have these like specific dreams and I'll wake up and I'll come to a video and, and let you guys know what I picked up in the dream. But anyway, let's get back into it. So let's see what else they want to say. I just, for someone I'm picking up on like this, it's this guy and I, I feel like it's like a younger guy. He's kind of thin. Um, I feel like this was someone's like romantic partner and I feel like he's almost, he, he's kind of playful and he kind of like teased you. I feel like he teased you. Um, and bear with me guys, because like I said, there's, there's quite a few of you here. So not, not every single message is going to be for you. Like it's the same energy group, but for some of you, this is a father. For some of you, this is a significant other. For some, it's a sibling. So I'm going to be getting different, you know, different random messages for certain specific people that are on here. So right now I'm, I'm channeling for, um, you know, I'm getting a message for somebody or this was like your partner. Cause I'm seeing somebody that's like really silly and kind of fun, um, and they took care of you and I feel like they really pushed you in a positive way. And I feel like they made fun of you. Like they were kind of a jokester, but in a really, um, gentle, innocent way. Like they were, they joked around a lot, but like not in a bad way. It was more like, a like a playful kind of energy. Like they would poke fun at you, but they would do it in a way where they like push you to be the best version of yourself. Cause I'm, I'm feeling this guy's energy and it's like a, a younger thin man. And he's like, tell her to tell her to stop doing that. Or tell her to tell her, tell her, I see her. I tell her, I see her doing that. Like tell her it's almost like, but like silly, like he's like playing around, like, like don't think cause I'm gone. Like you can get away with that. Like, 
like he wants you and it could be something with like diet for somebody too or you're like there's some kind of like unhealthy habit um and I feel like this unhealthy habit I feel like when he was alive I feel like he pushed you to to work on that and like he he doesn't want you to fall back into that pattern just because he's not around anymore you know I mean he's still like I said you guys aren't separated the 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 separation is temporary. That's 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 what's coming out for all of you too, regardless of your relationship with this person. I'm really getting this strong message of like they they want you to understand this this separation is temporary and it's not they they want your perception on it to shift. But they're testing the waters a little bit because I think you're you're starting to protect yourself more. Your energy is starting to get a little bit more grounded. Um you're maybe starting to be curious about like going out and meeting new people. You're you're curious. You're you're not quite in the same mental state that you were before. You're in a you're in a better state. You're coming into a better me uh, mental emotional state. Um, I feel like you're also looking in into more like you know grounding techniques, protective techniques. So they're gonna kind of test the waters. They're not gonna come fully in. And if, if they see any sign of danger, like any sign that there's any dark spirits around that are going to, you know, use this to their advantage, they're probably going to go the opposite direction. Like they're probably going to have to pull back again because they, they want to make sure that you're safe above all else. And again, also, the second thing is just not wanting you to live in the past. They don't they don't want to be a crutch for you. They want you to make the most of this life, even if you miss them this lifetime, like they want you to understand everything is happening as it's as it's meant to happen. They want you to understand that like like I feel like there's like things that you wanted to do together or there's certain things that you wanted to do that you've put off hold because they're not around and they want you to still go do those things. Like if you guys planned on like going to like Paris or like I'm seeing like mountains like uh I don't if it's is it like British Columbia or it's like um Peru? I don't know where it is, but it's like I'm seeing um like you guys had plans basically is what I'm seeing and they want you to follow through with those plans as long as it makes you happy of course but they don't want you to like not travel because of them because like it makes you sad and like you guys were going to do that together they want you to still go see those places they want you to do all those things they want you to really work on yourself and and live your best life you know enjoy this life um they're never really gone You know, they just, they really, there's like certain soul contracts that you came to earth to uh, fulfill. And it's like, they just, they, they I, I feel like the perception difference is like, almost see it like as a vacation. Like, let's say, because that's kind of how they, they see it in a way. I mean, they do miss you, don't get me wrong, but they, they understand that it's more temporary. So like, let's say that you're like married to somebody or you're like, you know, if it's like your dad or your mom or whoever this person is to you, again, it's different for everybody. But let's say that you were to go like to um, to Mexico or to P Paris by yourself for two weeks. Would you really be there the whole time being like, oh, I just miss my person. I just want to go home. I hate this. Like Paris is ugly. Fuck this. Like I'm, I'm going home. Like, no, even if you miss them, you would probably still enjoy it. You would want to explore Paris. You would want to see what's out there. You'd want to meet people. They want you to have that kind of experience, that kind of perception is almost like Almost like your life is like that Paris trip where it's just, you know, a couple weeks of it, it's like, enjoy this. You know what I mean? Enjoy the world. Enjoy traveling. Enjoy doing the things that you want to do. Because in the end, you know, when it's your time to go, you're going to come back home to them. You guys are going to be together again. You're going to be good. It's, you know what I mean? So it's, it's like, and if you don't enjoy that Paris trip, then when you get back home, it's like, you're going to be, you're going to be like, damn, I was in Paris. Why didn't I appreciate it? Why didn't I open my eyes and see all, open my eyes and see all the beauty around me? You know, that's kind of the, the mentality that I'm getting here is like, they want you to like look around and like appreciate life and uh, appreciate the things maybe you've been taking for granted and get back on track with your dreams and goals. I'm hearing somebody, there's something about like art. It's like writing or like music. Like there's some kind of like creative project or something that you used to do that you don't do anymore because you've gotten in that state where it's like you're just kind of upset over everything that's happened. So it's like they want you to try to not force yourself, but just try to take baby steps towards that. Just try to um, like do some journaling or do, you know, just little bits here and there. And I feel like as long as you're able to stay balanced, I think they're going to start coming through more and more because it's like they're going to see... They, they need to see that, you know, 
that you're protecting yourself, that you're not just completely reliant on them, that you're still, you know, going out and living your life. And I think if they see you moving forward like that, if they see that you're in this kind of neutral balanced state, they'll be able to come through little bits here and there um, and kind of check in on you more and, and support you a little bit more. It's pretty much what I'm feeling. Um, Let's see what else we can get here. So I just see someone like writing something in a notebook and like this person's like watching you write. They're they're like around you watching you and they're they're happy about it. Um but like, do you guys understand that energy difference though, right? Because it's like when you're in that desperation energy and you're using them as a crutch, it's like you're calling out for them, you're opening yourself up. That desperation opens you up to negative uh, entities, lower energies, you know, dark forces that you don't want to deal with. Um, and again, it also just kind of keeps you stagnant. You're not, you're not, do, you're not living your life. You're not meeting your goals. But, but again, if this person sees you going forward towards your goals, towards, you know, doing the things that you want to do, doing the things that you plan to do together, uh, going through with the plan I'm hearing, I mean, like, I feel like for somebody, like, the plan is, like, it was, like, a, apparently, like, a 10-year plan, or it was, like, some kind of plan to, um, it's, like, you guys had goals together that you, like, wrote down together or something like that is kind of what I feel. Just bear with me, because I'm channeling, like, several different spirits here, so sometimes, like, when I channel like that, it gets, it gets kind of jumbled, because there's, there's so much going on, you know, um, so I know like when I'm channeling like this, these readings can get a little bit chaotic. They're a little bit, you know, mixed up, but I'm, I'm give me, just bear with me. I'm grounding that energy up in here. Um, <laughs> let's see what else I feel from this. Yeah. Cause that neutral energy and, and being, you know, being balanced, having that logical, emotional balance, um, having that, that shift in perception. It's like, you're not, you're going to be stronger. So you're not going to and you're going to be looking at it in a different way. And so you're not going to be um, as desperate for this person's energy because right now you're, you're coming from this mentality of like, oh my God, it's over forever. I'll never see them again. But if you understand that it's temporary, you know, you're, you're not going to feel as desperate for that energy. So it's like they can't, these dark spirits aren't going to be able to use that against you as easily because you're not as desperate for it. You, you understand it's just like a temporary separation, you know? So it's like, so yeah, I feel like this person's coming back through. They do miss you and they see that you're making changes. They're just going to observe though. Like I said, um, they're, they're going to watch you. They're going to see what you do. They're going to make sure that you're, you're still moving forward with your life, that they're not inhibiting your growth in any way, that you're not, um, you know, desperate and, and opening up to other spirits that aren't good for you. Like they're, they're going to make sure that they're actually going to be a positive influence on your life. Otherwise they're, they're going to go back to leaving again, you know? So right now they're, they're, they're going to come back through and test the waters. Yeah. That's what I feel. Um, I know that was repetitive. I just, I, I keep feeling like there's more information. And I'm waiting for it to come through. Bear with me here. For someone, I feel like they had to go help a child. They had to go, they left because they had to go help somebody. There was a child that needed them. It might have been, um, could be a child that you know even, but there was some kind of child that they had to go help. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, I think this is pretty much just saying what I already said. It's just that was like you waiting, like you waiting for them and waiting for them. And then it's like this hidden energy where there had to be this ending because you were just you were stuck. You were stuck here. You know, what else does this person want you to know? Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, King of Wands, Two of Swords, the Devil. What is this about? This is for somebody specific. And you'll know if this is for you. 
This is just for one person, I feel, that's watching this. For someone, there's someone that wants to get in your panties, and you kind of know this. This is someone, and you feel this energy already. But I feel like your, this spirit is putting a block to that. They're putting a block to this devil energy. They're saying, no, I'm going to reshuffle the cards and see what else wants to come out. But yeah, that's that's for somebody. It's like they're, this. I feel like they're bringing information to you, like they're warning you about this person. So I feel like this person is charming, but they're seductive and they might be cheating or there's just an, an energy of um, just kind of like a, a fuck boy or fuck girl kind of energy, honestly, just devil energy, toxic. And you're being, the spirit is protecting you from that. They're not going to allow that into your life. Okay, what are the other messages for people on this channel? Oh, hello. <laughs> King of Wands again. <laughs> could be for some maybe your father was a fire sign aries leo sagittarius maybe that energy felt more fatherly what is the night of okay so information coming through seven of cups three of wands What was this Knight of Swords about? Hmm. It's interesting. Because I feel like it's kind of just reiterating what we already said. Like there's some kind of information that came through here with the Knight of Swords. There's something that came through and it put you in this state of like confusion, illusion, and like you were just waiting. Oh, I feel like what it is for some, I feel like, I feel like this dark spirit might have misled you. So I feel like this dark spirit might have presented false information to you. Like they might have, um, let's see, give me a minute, give me a minute to, to channel this here. They might have had you looking for them. They might have had you like going on a wild goose chase. It's kind of the energy I'm getting. Like they might have felt like if this was like a father or a mother or something that passed over, they might have um, the dark spirit might have been like, oh, I'm going to come back. Like I'm going to I'm going to you got to go here and look for me. Like they, they kind of just they kind of just um, almost like a gaslighting, like kind of energy, like kind of making you feel crazy. You know what I mean? Like they, they misled you. They gave you some kind of false information that put you in a state of illusion, confusion, deception. Um, waiting for something, trying to manifest something. And I feel like it led to heartbreak. And I feel like you might have even blamed this spirit for it when it wasn't this spirit. It wasn't, you know, like if it was like your, your, you know, this dark spirit saying, oh, I'm your mother or father or sibling or, you know, whoever it was that passed. Oh, I'm coming back. You got to come find me. I'm going to channel through this person or I'm going to, um, I'm going to reincarnate or I'm going to, you know, this something, there's some kind of wild goose chase energy and it had you waiting. It had you stuck. It had you in this illusion. Like you got really excited first. And then there was like this tower moment, like this depression. It's like, you thought all your dreams were going to come through. Like you thought something was coming through here and it ended up not coming through. It's like this spirit just led you to kind of, um, just to try to destroy you, just to try to, this dark spirit just tried to kind of drag you down. Um, and I think, you know, this person wants you to understand that wasn't them. They would never have hurt you like that. They wouldn't have manipulated you into thinking that they were around when they weren't. It, it, it's, it, it wasn't them that did that to you. They weren't the one that sent you on that wild goose chase. Okay, let's get some final messages here. The sun, the knight of swords, the knight of pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like it seemed really bright. It seemed like the sun. It seemed so positive. It seemed like you were just living your best life, but like there was anxiety beneath the scenes. There was, it's it's almost like some kind of entity attachment or some kind of negative energy that was just like messing with you where it's like, 
it made you feel really good at points so it could like so that you would open up to it but then there was like these moments when you just felt really down and really horrible you know what I mean like you just didn't feel good um so it kind of tricked you and you know demons can do that too they can they can They'll, they'll make you feel like you're coming into your power, but it's not, it's, and, and when you're powerful, like you, I, I think it's normal to like feel powerful and feel confident and feel sassy. Like those are all good traits, but you have to be intuitive enough to like know when it's genuine power and when it's just like, just ego and just, you know, these entities that are trying to feed off this. Um, but either way, I feel like you're moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. Like you've, I think you've already seen through this. I feel like you're already clearing this energy out and you're balancing yourself out. Like you're, you're learning, um, protective techniques. I feel like some of you are manifesting a mentor too. Yeah. Some of you are like in your power, queen of wands, like very attractive, like going through this glow up male or female. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like someone's manifesting a mentor. Like they're they're The spirit is trying to bring a mentor to you so that you can explore the spiritual world in a safer way so that you can kind of, you know, understand how to sort through these energies. Yeah, social, social, something social here. Three of cups, two of pentacles, wheel of fortune. It's your good karma. You're meant to have a mentor this lifetime. Someone's meant to have a mentor this lifetime. This might not be for everybody. But for a few of you, at least, I feel like someone's meant to have a mentor this lifetime because you are powerful. You are, you do have that past life power. Um, and so I feel like this, this person on the other side that loves you wants you to tap into that power. They want you to get back on track. They want you to get more in touch with your soul. They want to give you that guidance. And it's kind of hard for them to fully guide you from the other side. I mean, they're going to come through here and there and protect you and give you warnings, but it's going to be much easier if there's like, a physical person that they trust that can mentor you yeah and the hermit is like a mentor card the hermit can be a mentor like you're gonna have success you're gonna have you have good karma and you're gonna have success i feel like when you when you find this um mentor when you when you learn and study i think that's how you're going to be successful i feel like they're working on it right now they're working you might be feeling this energy too like you're you're and be very careful with this because this is another one of those energies where you can get deceived by toxic spirits if you're not careful. Because there are mentor types in the spiritual community especially that will present themselves like father figures or like mother figures. They'll present themselves as wise, but they they just want little minions. They just want, they're all ego. They just want people to it's like their way, the highway. And that's how you know someone's a false mentor. If they're, they just want to be a leader, but they don't want to create more leaders because a genuine leader, you know, everyone has a little ego. That's normal, but a genuine ego, a genuine leader is going to have that balance of ego and soul. They're going to be balanced. They're going to be wise. They're going to be humble. Um, even if they're confident, there's still going to be this positive, like humble energy about them. You know, like a genuine leader is going to want you to go down your own path. A genuine leader wants you to find yourself. They want you to go down your own path. They want you to, to discover, discover who you really are, even if it doesn't resonate with them. Even if your beliefs completely differ from their own, they want you to find your own specific path. And they're just there as a guide, but you're still the one that's kind of finding those answers. There's not that energy of control. You know what I mean? That's, that's a genuine leader. A genuine leader wants to create more leaders. A false leader, someone who's just coming from a place of ego, they don't want to create more leaders. They don't want the competition. They, they, want, they feel like it's their way or the highway. They feel like they have all the answers and you have to, they'll, they'll gaslight you too into listening to them. And if you question them, they're going to say that you're, um, they're going to argue with you if you question them. They, they, they can't stand being questioned. They, they just want followers. They just want people. It's, it's almost like they want to get their um, beliefs out there. Like they want they want to make a name for themselves. They, they have these control issues. So be mindful. Like don't don't get too desperate to seek for a mentor and be really careful to vet these mentors. Some of them are toxic. If you feel controlled, 
if you feel like you're not allowed to ask questions, you're not allowed to go down your own path, and that's not a mentor that you want to follow, you know, so be really careful with that. But I do feel like this, yeah, the spirit is trying to find you the right mentor. Or it could even be, if it's not a mentor, it could even be like classes or it could be um, like some type of guidance. It doesn't necessarily have to be a physical person for everybody. For some, it could just be like a new form of study that's really going to help you. Okay, let's wrap up these messages. Is there anything else you want to say? Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups. Death. Page of Cups. King of Wands. Strength. Three of Swords. This is a specific message for somebody that if your partner died, they want you to know that you do have two other options. You do have two new men that are going to come into your life, a king of wands and a king of cups. Um, one of them might not be as willing to be patient with you. Like three of swords, like nine of wands, I feel like, because that's like a final battle and it's almost like heartbreak. Like they're not, they might not be willing to be patient with you as much, but there's a king of cups that's going to match your energy. So there's two people basically, and it's saying use discernment. Use, yeah, make a choice. You're, you're going to have to use discernment. You're going to have to be logical here and walk away from somebody. Walk away from a devil energy. Stand your ground. Okay, let's wrap this up. Can we get any final messages? Justice. You have karmic justice on your side. Five of Wands, Two of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I'm hearing don't let somebody steal from you. Don't let a lover steal energy, time, money, resources. Be mindful of your leaving a, this is for someone specific, be mindful of like leaving banking information out. If you're, this is probably, this could be for that person that was kind of like messing around with like lower vibrational people because they don't want to be alone right now. So like if you're having these people come into your house, you need to be careful. You need to be careful here. Because um, you've, you've worked, a, you've worked hard to become the queen of pentacles. So you need to be mindful of that. And don't let someone take you off your path, basically. Don't let someone take something from you. Okay, any final messages? We're going to do one more. Let's wrap it up. New perspective. King of Pentacles, the moon. If you stop messing with these lower vibrational people, if you're this queen of pentacles, you can manifest a king of pentacles, but it's hidden right now. Yeah, ten of cups, but it's hidden right now. The moon is something that's hidden. It's like he's hidden from you right now because you're not in alignment with him. You're not, um, it's, it's almost like you're, it's almost like you downgraded. Like you, you, I think you missed your person so much that it's almost like you downgraded and started dating like kind of scummy people, lower vibrational people, just because it's like when you do feel like you connect with somebody, um, it like it hurts too much. You know what I mean? It's like you, you can't really see yourself being happy with anyone other than the person that passed away. It's like you can't really, um, you know what I mean? It's like you want like the like the, the physical or like the sexual, but you don't feel like you can emotionally love anybody. 
Like, I feel like it, like, opens your heart chakra up when you do feel anything for anybody else. And, like, maybe there's, like, this feeling of, like, guilt or regret or just sadness. And I feel like it's too much. And you go back to these kind of scummy, kind of low vibrational people. Um, your person on the other side is saying that they do have a king of pentacles picked out for you. you they do have your match. But they're not going to bring them in just yet because, again, you're not in alignment. So you would just sabotage it. Like, you would start feeling something for them and you would probably run away from it. Or, you know... So I think when you're ready, they do have someone in mind for you, but you're going to have to have a new perspective. You're going to have to go into that kind of meditative state and see things differently and be in that alignment. And then this is going to come to light. This person's going to come to light when you're, you know, ready for them, when you're ready to date again, when you're actually ready to give love a chance again, and you're going to have the Ten of Cups with them. This person might even be, um, hi priestess, let me see her. Hold on one second. I have two swords. I have two swords. Seven of Pentacles. Like waiting for something here. Ten of Wands, a Chariot. Yeah, just getting into alignment, letting the scummy people go. I almost feel like this this new person for you, the King of Pentacles, that's that's meant to be for you. This Ten of Cups, this lifetime. Um, I almost feel like he has a soul contract with your person that passed away. And I feel like your person is actually going to be able to channel through him almost like a vessel. I know that's kind of weird. That might not make sense. But it's like you're going to be with this king of pentacles. Like this is a soulmate, I think. Could be like the one that got away from a past life. Um, but yeah, I feel like he's like open. I feel like he's a very open person. And so I think that like your your person on the other side can like channel through him. Like like you'll kind of be with your person to some degree through this person as well. I hope that makes sense. Um, anyway, I'm going to put this out there. That was, I know that was a lot of energy that came out. I hope this resonates for you guys. Like I said, I really appreciate your comments. Even just leaving a heart comment, it really helps me get back in the algorithm. So thank you guys.